This video is sponsored by Rockland Flooring. Visit our website for more information. Wheel bearings are an important part of the braking mechanism. The wheel bearings are, quite simply, what keep your wheels turning and with minimal friction. They're one of those unsung components. They don't stand out the way something like an engine does, but they still have a role to play in uptime, vehicle performance, and even fuel efficiency. Things like bearings, seals, hubs, hubcaps, and adjusting nuts all come together to form a unit that works to keep your trucks rolling. So while they may not seem like the most important component on the truck, they're a vitally important one, meaning that you should do your best to minimize any maintenance issues. For this episode of On the Road, I sat down with Michael Hartman, Senior Director of the Heavy Duty Sales Vehicle Aftermarket for North America at SKF. We talked about the role of the wheel bearing, what to look for in an inspection, and what equipment fleets can use to spot wheel bearing issues before they happen. What makes the wheel bearing so important uh, for truck and trailer performance? So essentially, it is the um, the piece that is literally um, allows the vehicle to roll down the road. Um, so bearings and their health is very important um, across to make sure that we're keeping uptime um, and making sure that um, obviously that they're uh, keeping. Um, the vehicles rolling and making sure that uh, that they're being safe when out on the uh, public roads. In terms of like what what sort of things can go wrong with them, you know, wheel bearing damage. Uh, what are what are some of the things to look out for? Yeah, so um, the biggest thing is when you want to um, the the bearing itself um, is always affected by something else, right? Uh, so we want to make sure that you're using a good quality bearing, uh, but there's a lot of things that we can look for, like improper alignment. Uh, we want to look at the condition of the lubrication, uh, the overall wheel end um, inspections is is a great thing to to look at when you're doing your pre-trip inspections. Uh, we should always follow the recommended practices of doing annual inspections or by mileage. Um, but really um, uh, inspecting uh, the alignment, the lubrication, um, the cleanliness of the uh, of the wheel end and making sure that uh, um, that it's all in proper working order. Yeah, yeah. yeah, those those inspections are always so key. Uh, what what kind of things do you do you look out for in an inspection like that? So first thing we do is um, is just to do it again, like I said, a general overview of an inspection. So if we're going to look at bearing specifically, we're going to, you know, after we disassemble the bearing, we're going to um, or remove it from the wheel end. We're going to do a full inspection, looking for any kind of etching or spalling. Um, and those are obviously results uh, of some potential issues uh, from misalignment, lack of lubrication, um, some of the other things overloading um, is the vehicle working in abnormal conditions that is going to affect and present um, uh, issues out with the bearings itself. So what kind of things can a fleet do on the preventative side to kind of keep some of these things from happening? I, I think everything from I mentioned before like uh, regular inspections from the everyday with starting with the driver of looking at you know doing a pre-trip doing a visual inspection around uh, the vehicle looking at every specific wheel end that's required um, and then on an annual basis really um, looking at um, the doing a, a little bit more thorough inspection um, of you know, uh, looking at the lubrication, looking at um, any type of evidence that maybe there's uh, metallic particles in the in the lubrication or uh, uneven tire wear um, uh, um, uh, issues that that will ultimately either be a root cause that you can actually try to identify being a, maybe a, a wheel end issue or a bearing issue or a tire issue that ultimately could uh, lead to a bearing failure. Being fleet equipment, we're very equipment focused, and I know you guys work on some things that. Uh some equipment solutions that kind of help with that. What can you tell me about that? So um, SKF actually offers um, a couple a couple of things, I think, as, um, as solutions. One, um, we actually um, dedicated uh, resources to uh, our sales team um, to go out into the field and, you know, not from 
from we'll do technical training at service locations at fleet locations so we'll offer hands-on training uh, with our service vehicles uh, but even more than that because of resources being what they are and just a simple breath of the amount of fleets and the equipment that's out there with locations is we're offering um, newer technology to be able to utilize data and predictability to be able to um, identify some of these potential issues with bearings. We offer what's called a tracks wheel in center sensor. Um, it's a simple bolt on device um, that li literally uh, recognizes bearing issues and failures. So we'll monitor temperature at the wheel end and we'll also monitor the health of the wheel end, uh, specifically the bearing in a proactive way. So we'll listen to it and, and see if there's any type of issue that we're gonna, is gonna come up. We'll be able to identify that and able to communicate it out whether through a telematics partner or simple with an LED light or something on the device um, to give uh, fleet managers and owners um, a predictable way of saying something's wrong with this wheel end let's take a look at it let's investigate it uh, well before a catastrophic event happens yeah yeah using data like you were saying is a good way to kind of get ahead of that sort of thing you know we were talking about predictive maintenance and that's one way to do that um, what what sort of data does it track so we're listening to the, the vibration of the bearing itself right so we know what the bearing sounds like at different mile an hour or kilometers uh, in, in all states whether it's in a good state and everything's fine or if it's starting to get to a point where um, ultimately something's going to um, potentially happen with that bearing so we'll be able to look at that data analyze it and all the decision making is done in device itself so then that way we can communicate like I mentioned before, um, to the fleet manager, um, they can actually do a controlled fix where they can control their cost, their downtime, and also tie that into other predict um, predictive maintenance services that they can actually tie in with it instead of being on a side of the road down at a very exorbitant cost. For even more trucking and equipment content, head over to the fleet equipment site at fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.